Here's how you use a little side spin trick that allows you to play a greater range of positional shots, but getting it wrong means you can miss almost any shot on the table. This is Break From Life. Welcome back and if it's your first time watching one of our videos then it's fantastic to have you here. Have you ever noticed when you're playing a better player than yourself, especially if they're a lot better, that they're always able to get nicely in position on the next ball? And it doesn't seem to matter if they've left themselves a bit straight or with a bit too much angle, they're still able to control the positional shot and get themselves comfortably in position for the next pot. How do you do this? Well there are a number of things you've got to get right. You see, to start off with, when I'm in a break I always put a lot of effort into making sure I get the positional side of the shot right. It's all about thinking ahead and leaving yourself the correct angles. You see, I've left myself exactly in the right place in the black here, so all I've got to do is pot it at the right pace. And I'm going to be in position on both of these two reds. Nothing improves a player's ability more than when they learn how to look ahead in a break and see the positions they need to leave the cue ball in to continue the break in the most straightforward way possible. So what's the problem? Well if you get the cue ball in the correct place every single time then none at all. However if you just finish very slightly out of position it can be incredibly difficult to finish on the next ball. It's on these occasions you may need to play the shot with a bit of side spin like here. If for whatever reason here you needed the cue ball to finish that side of straight on the black there's just no way you could pop the red and do it because the angle just simply isn't there. It's always coming back this side unless I play the shot with right hand side and get it to spin that way off the cushion. That's how side spin can help you play position off cushions, but... This isn't about spinning the cue ball off cushions, this is about using side to play some very accurate positional shots. But first you need to know exactly how side spin works. Initially, side spin affects every shot in three different ways. The initial strike throws the cue ball offline from the opposite side to which you struck it. As it slows down, the spinning cue ball then begins to grip the cloth, pulling it more and more in the opposite direction. If you play any shot with side, you have to allow for these two factors, but they're not going to help us play better position. To do that, we're going to have to look at the effects of a spinning cue ball on contact with an object ball. I've set the balls up here so I can only really strike the yellow to run straight along the bulk line. If I'm very slightly out I'll move one of the two reds so the yellow has to finish here. But by using right hand side I'm able to throw the yellow to the left of the bulk line. And by using left hand side I'm actually able to throw the yellow to the right of the bulk line. And this is exactly the effect we're going to be utilising. But first we have Hugo from Newton Abbott in the UK. So if we're throwing the object ball offline, we then have to line up the shot slightly differently. This means you can actually change the angle required to pop the ball, allowing you to make straight shots break wider and allows you to make angled shots seem completely straight. So what do you need to be able to do to make this work? Well, let's say I'm slightly too straight on the black like this. Now, what I can do here is play this shot with a tiny trace of right hand side and that will allow me to play the black slightly wider than normal giving me the space to get the cue ball nicely on the red. The side spin means I have to play the black at a slightly more aggressive angle than normal to pot it. As I said you can also use it to help straighten up shots as well. Now I've got way too much angle on this blue to hold for the pink so I'm going to use left hand side to hopefully straighten it up. This time the side spin means I can strike the blue slightly straighter and still pot it. Being able to widen and narrow the potting angle like this can seriously benefit your game because you'll have a greater number of options open to you when the cue ball lands in an awkward position. So here's exactly what you need to do to make it work. 
To start off with, work out which way you want the cue ball to go. Left hand side will make the cue ball move to the right, and right hand side will make the cue ball move more to the left. Once you've worked this out, you need to play the shot to pot the ball, because if you play the cue ball to spin the object ball, you'll miss almost every time. Nextly, you don't actually need that much side spin. If you're trying to widen the angle, for example, you only need really a trace of side spin, because this shot works surprisingly well if you play it with a fair amount of power, and there's less of a risk of you missing the shot. Ante is from Solin in Croatia. Now in fact this effect works more and more the harder you strike the cue ball. However you have to be really careful because it's very easy when you're doing this to miss the pop. What you really don't want to be doing is playing this shot when you're going to the table cold. Whether this is because you just started playing or you haven't had a good chance in a few minutes, you really want to wait until you really have a feel for the table before you start playing shots like this. And whether or not it's a good idea to attempt something like this will depend heavily on the position of the balls, you see. Now this is incredibly difficult to do when you're a long way away from the shop, so it's the sort of thing you only really want to do when you're closer in to the object ball. Extra distance always increases the difficulty of this type of shot, but this isn't the only thing you need to be concerned about. Because of the amount of power you'll need to use, you'll have to play some of these shots incredibly accurately. And the only way you can do this is by focusing 100% on putting the ball and not being concerned about how the spin will affect the contact. Once you've had a bit of a practice with this and you've worked out what you can and can do and what isn't, isn't possible, then I just say to try and use it as sparingly as possible. You know, try and be in the right position every single time so you never have to use that shot. But if it does come up, you'll have a shot you can possibly play. And that's what this game is all about, having answers to every single shot on the table. Abdullah is from Baghdad in Iraq. Previously I explained if you jump the cue ball into the object ball it has the effect of straightening it up slightly. So bouncing the cue ball into the object ball can also help you widen the angle. Again this causes the same effect and really it's a lot easier to do. Essentially what I'm just going to do is bounce this blue in and that's going to allow me to get on the red. Just by striking down on the cue ball a little bit I'm able to severely widen the angle. And this can be a lot simpler and less risky way of playing the shot because you don't have to worry about side spin. All you need to do to make this work is strike down a little bit and make a small angle into a big one. But if you really want to widen an angle you can of course use both of these effects together. If you want to find more tricks to playing snooker then why not try our snooker aiming practice trick? Or if you want to find out how Stephen Hendry changed snooker then why not try that video? And remember don't just watch play and make the commitment to becoming a better player by subscribing to the channel and visit the website. See you later.